All right, yo, if you're from Filipino, you're going to want to come a little bit closer because we're going to be representing the Philippines in just a second. So if you're Filipino and you're up there, you're wrong. Come down a little bit closer to the center of the stage. And actually, we're going to need this area cleared. So please make your way over to the stand. Thank you very much. Hey, what's up, man? Uh, At this serious. time, representing Philippines, the Mutia Dance Company, please welcome up to the stage, Susanna. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. Um, the Mutia Philippine Dance Company will rep represent our traditional dances from the rural Philippines. Mutia Philippine Dance Company is based in Philadelphia and we are supported by the Philadelphia Cultural Fund. Before we begin, we would like to thank the Kampong Indonesia for inviting us to join the Pan-Asian Festival. Um, the first dance that we are performing is called Kalatong. Kalatong is an energetic ceremonial dance named after the three feet bamboo tube that the dancers wear in their waist and the dancer rhythmically beat these tubes as they dance with the belief that the loud noise will bring good luck and drive away evil spirits. It is also combined with a parade of floral garlands and boat paddles. And the next is Kuratsa. It is a dance of flirtation and courtship. The movements mimic the mating ritual of a rooster and a hen. And then it will be followed by tinikling. It is known as the national dance of the Philippines. The dancers imitate the movements of the tickling bird's legendary grace and speed by maneuvering between bamboo traps set up by the farmers to protect the rice fields. Ladies and gentlemen, the Mutya Philippine Dance Company.
She go on America's Got Talent.
and gentlemen, let's give it up for the Mutya Dance Company! Wow, that was incredibly, incredibly impressive. Wow, that footwork. Amazing, amazing, amazing. All right, guys, at this time, we'd like to welcome back up onto the 